Hey guys, welcome to another video on AWS. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. In this video, we are going to discuss on what materials you should refer in order to clear any of AWS certificates. So let's get started. Let's have a quick recap on list of certificates offered by AWS. First one is a foundation level certificate called as AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This certificate is for the individuals who want to understand the basic concepts of cloud computing, basic security and compliance principles offered by AWS as well as basic services offered by AWS and shared responsibility model proposed by AWS for its customers. Moving to the next one is the associate level certificate which is divided into three parts. AWS certified solution architect associate level. This certificate is for the individuals who have good knowledge on designing and planning the applications in AWS. Moving to the next one is AWS Certified Developer Associate Level. This certificate is for the people who love to develop deployed solutions in AWS. This certificate is for the people who are already into a development role. Moving to the next one is AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate. This certificate is for the people who are already into infrastructure role and currently doing hardware maintenance and infrastructure monitoring has this certificate requires deep understanding of infrastructure concepts moving to the next one is the professional level certificate which is divided into two parts aws certified solution architect professional this certificate is for the people who have uh, advanced technical skills and experience in designing distributed applications and systems on aws platform the next one is the aws AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional. This certificate is for the people who are already into DevOps roles and who have a depth understanding of continuous integration and continuous deployment and exposure to different DevOps tools like GitHub, Jenkins, Puppet, Safe, etc. Before you appear for any of the exam, I would highly recommend you to go through the exam guidelines. This will give you an idea of how the exam looks like and which concepts you need to focus in order to clear that exam. Let's take an example of AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Exam Guide. As you see, this exam guide is divided into four parts. The first one is the cloud concept, which contributes to around 26% of its weightage in exam. It basically evaluates you on how good you have understand the cloud concepts and cloud architecture design principles. Moving to the next one is security and compliance, which contributes to around 25% of its weightage in the exam. This evaluates you on AWS shared responsibility model as well as AWS cloud security and compliance concepts. Moving to the next one is the technology domain which contributes to around 33% of its weightage in the exam. This basically evaluates you on the methods of deploying and operating in the AWS cloud as well as how good you have understand the core AWS services provided by AWS while you choose to deploy your application in AWS. Moving to the na last one is the billing and pricing which contributes to 16% of its weightage in the exam. This will evaluate you on the various pricing models provided by AWS. Let me walk you through the how to create a free tire AWS account. For free tire AWS account to be created, you need to log into aws.amazon.com. Once you are on that website, you need to click on create an AWS account. Once you have clicked on create an AWS account, it will take you to this web page where it will ask you to enter the email ID, the password as well as the name for your AWS account. 
once you have clicked continue it takes you to the next web page where you need to select what type of account this would be it as you see we need to select personal account as we are going to use this for our practice test in once you select the personal account you need to enter the full name the phone number the address state etc once you have entered that it will take you to the next page where it will ask you to enter the a credit card information do not worry it's not going to charge you anything it is just needed to verify that this account belongs to a correct individual who is creating this account once you have click on verify and add it takes you to the next web page where it will ask you to enter the phone number so that it will send you a text message which will have a verification code in it you need to enter the verification code once you have received that once you have verified the code the next web page is to select the support plan AWS provides three types of support plan one is a basic plan one is a developer plan and one is the business plan in this session we are going to select basic plan as we are going to use for our practice test once you have added the support plan it takes you to the web page where it asks you to enter the credentials either using a root user or a im user in this case we are going to sign it as a root user once you have entered those details it takes you to the console page where you see aws management console once you are on aws management console page you see the list of tabs like aws services where it it gives you the list of all the services offered by aws second tab is for the build solution if you want to build your virtual machines on ec2 you can use this tab the moving to the next one is the free digital training this page when you click it it gives you the list of trainings offered by aws for free of cost once you click on free digital training it takes you to this web page where you see the list of trainings offered by aws these trainings are absolutely of free cost and will help you to gain knowledge on the basic concepts of cloud computing as well as the basic understanding of aws services and the basic understanding of shared responsibility model provided by aws for its customers the good part of this trainings is once you complete the training it gives you a completion certificate of that particular training which is a good deal nowadays every organization is encouraging their employees to enroll for the online courses provided by udemy plural site etc i would highly recommend you to create a udemy account and look for the free courses provided by udemy for aws one of the well trended and well known course available on udemy for aws is the free aws certified cloud practitioner provided by andrew brown this course will cover the concepts of cloud computing as well as all the necessary information needed to clear your exam there are paid courses available on udemy as well which are as follows first one is the aws certified cloud practitioner by stephen ma the next one is aws certified cloud practitioner by john bosco and the last one is aws certified cloud practitioner course provided by neil davis this course covers all the basic understanding needed for you to clear the aws certified cloud practitioner also in this course there are around 390 to 400 questions available in the form of practice which will give you and will prepare you for the examination as how does the exams look like here are few sample questions which will give you an idea and will help you to prepare for the aws certified cloud practitioner exam i wish you 
all the best for the exam. I hope this video was informative and helpful. I wish you all the best for preparing for your AWS certificates. Until then, please like, subscribe my video. Thank you. Stay safe and healthy.